testing. After careful examination, the Metalock engineer determines the way the job should be tackled, ascertaining the areas of stress concentration and calculating the restoration of strength accordingly. In this case, it would be impractical to replace metal fragments, so the corners are rounded off to receive a new piece. This is where the experience of a trained Metalock engineer comes in. The broken piece is clamped securely to the parent casting in its original position before the break occurred. After marking the position that the metal lock keys will occupy, the broken piece is locked in position with studs. These are sheared off just proud of the casting using one of the specially developed tools. The engineer commences by preparing a series of apertures at right angles to the fracture to take the keys. He then drills the center hole of each aperture, using the holes to locate the simple but very precise jig, which is held firmly in place by dowel pins, and which governs the accuracy of the apertures themselves. These apertures never penetrate the depth of the metal to its full extent. A landing is always left at the bottom of the aperture, which is carefully calculated, consistent with the depth of the metal under repair. The pattern of the aperture begins to emerge, with holes drilled to accurate depths. A sizing tool is brought into action, and the walls between the holes are carefully broken down to match the shape of the metal lock key. These keys are made of a special nickel alloy with high ductile properties, and have been specially developed for the process. The keys are hammered home. A pneumatic pin tool, again designed by Metalock, is used to pin the keys into a metal-to-metal -metal condition. During this process, the tensile strength of the keys is considerably increased. After grinding to round off the corners, a simple template is used to make a new metal insert to complete the repair. As before, this new insert is keyed into the original metal using the jig for marking out the locations of the metal lock keys. A series of studs called metalace, which again are manufactured from the special nickel alloy steel, are screwed home so that all of them bite into their mates and the adjacent keys. The metalace studs are deliberately sheared off just above the surface, leaving the repair metal slightly proud. It is then peened almost flush with the surface, and a pneumatic chisel is used to remove excess metal, giving a good surface before the final finish is obtained by grinding. With machine surfaces, an appropriate finish can be applied to give an exact match. Thus, we arrive at the finished repair 
with a fracture completely filled with new metal. The metal has suffered no distortion whatsoever. No new stresses have been set up and the original alignment has been maintained precisely.